There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. So at the third time of asking, we are back at the main menu. That's because I had previously set some key bindings and the game had forgotten them. So let's quickly set preferences and go to 7 to define controls, player 1 keyboard. Define keys. So, kick, shift, W, S, A, D. Okay. And unfortunately, you have to set the controls for player two as well. So we've done that. But for some reason, it didn't appear to save it. I don't know why. But that means we can finally play a single game. And our opponent is going to be the indomitable Northern Ireland. For obvious reasons. So, you can set your formation, uh, set your current team, and uh, there's, uh, there's some nice information on who you've got there. Um, so, lots of bios and uh, stats. So, speed, skill, strength and aggression. Okay, that's nice. Let's just kick off and see how it works with our 5-2-3 formation. So this is the main screen. It's a uh, top-down football game reminiscent of the kickoff series and sensi, sorry, sensible world of soccer uh, to some degree. And there is one button. Shift to kick the ball. And you're... you're uh, your men are controlled with WSAD. Oh, look at this bit of skill here. Bring it out to the corner. Dribble past him. Oh, he's got past him again. He's going to shoot straight at the goalkeeper, unfortunately. You'll also note, uh, football fans, the few that are around. Oh, get it out of there. Good man. So, Steve Hodge. I think that's Steve Hodge, isn't it? Uh, takes it away. Plays it. Oh. And we, we got dispossessed quite nastily there. See, this... Oh my goodness. He's away with it here. Stop him! Somebody! Right. So, you'll never beat Des Walker anyway. So, away Walker goes. Carries it out of defence like a behemoth that he is. Whoa, we really hit that. So, what I was saying before was, this comes from an era where... You were allowed to, as the professionals would say, leave some in. You know, you could actively sort of be a lot more physical than you can be now in the modern game. So the idea of randomly sliding and then burying it into the net like that. Let's see that again on the replay. Let's just slide in from behind and then stick it in the back of the net. Yeah. Was more accepted. Um... Your goalkeeper is pretty much automated, so if he doesn't make the save, then that's on him. But let's just immediately score again in response. Look at that beautiful dribbling past the slide tackle and our dreadful team AI nearly got in the way there. Um, oh. And uh, you'll, you'll spot one, one of the issues, aside from the team AI, which is dreadful and... Uh, Distinct lack of crowd noises or any sort of sound. Come on. Oh, no. Is uh, the view itself. Um, now, I can't speak for the kickoff games as I, I didn't play them to any degree growing up. But uh, in uh, other top down football games, you had a greater view of the field. The field of play was very important because. How can you make a pass to a player if you don't have a radar in the user interface and you don't, like, have uh, enough of a view? Oh, finally! After all the slide tackles, the, uh, the ref has given us a free kick. So that's nice. But yes, the, uh, the result of this is that I have no idea where anyone is, so I'm just going to have to dribble my way up in the hope that I can find a player nearby to pass it to. And, oh, painful. 
not uh, not having much fun here. But yeah, these sort of games were a lot more popular back in the day because obviously you couldn't do the the super realistic sort of FIFAs and Pro Evos of of now. That was a terrible throw. Why did I do that? There is uh, player switching, so that switched automatically. There's no button for that. So it's just whoever's in closest proximity, I believe, to the ball at the time, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've, I've seen worse. I've seen much worse, trust me. Um, it's okay, you know, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's horrific, you know? Like some of these games you think, oh, what were they, what were they thinking? You know, they, they clearly didn't have time or this was a cash in or whatever. I don't believe that this game was a cash in. There, there's a genuine attempt to make a halfway decent arcade football game clearly inspired by kickoff. But yeah, like I was saying, it was all about a frenetic fast paced joystick gaming where you would have like one button on your joystick that would do everything like you were in an, in an arcade and uh, it would just keep going back and forth and sometimes you'd have ridiculously high scoring matches but that was part of the fun, you know? And I have to say, there's no player models either. So uh, apologies to John Barnes and Des Walker but you are not going to look accurate, you know? <laughs> and if you don't know who John Barnes and Des Walker are, look them up! John Barnes in particular was a very famous footballer back in the day. Anyway, come on, let's let's get that second goal, shall we? Yes, football fans will notice that uh, the timer is very American style. Uh, a lot of American sports fans will note interesting ball physics there. It stopped dead. Goal kick was automatically taken, so I had to be ready for it. Uh, but yeah, the timer is counting down rather than counting up to half time. Uh, in American football, you know, and other sports, I don't know if, does, it, does the NFL count down? I don't know. But yeah, in, in certain other sports, it's, it's a countdown. Hockey, I think, is one of them. Ice hockey. But uh, in football, it's meant to be the other way around. I don't know why they did that, but, you know, whatever makes them happy, I guess. Can I get another goal? No, no. See, there's some good slide tackles being put in by the computer here. Oh, he's missed the ball completely there. Play it back to your... Oh, don't play it back there, actually. That's, that's getting in trouble. He did well. Steve Hodge. He's, he's been all right for us. There's Gary Lineker, current host of Match of the Day. Come on, Lineker, get us a goal. Come on! Yes! Gary Lineker! What a dribble! He he was more known for his uh, finishing prowess. He, he apparently just walked past the goalkeeper there, and then the goalkeeper panicked and walked through his net, which is entirely understandable. You know, if you'd let in a goal, you just ignore the laws of physics. So if you just tap it, you do a little dribble like that. And you can't do a sort of quick turn to throw the computer off because he'll just come in and slide like that. And I really messed that up. Um, it's lucky I'm playing Northern Ireland, who uh, in the early 90s were not the team that they once were. Northern Ireland have had some good teams in the past, but uh, the early 90s Northern Ireland team... Des Walker going on a run here. Oh, and then taken out. Yes, uh, early 80s Northern Ireland got to the World Cup and uh, sort of mid, mid 2000s. Oh, what a strike! What a strike that was. I was dilly dallying on the edge of my box. He just came in and hit it first time. And the computer a AI for the goalkeeper, I'm, I'm going to blame the goalkeeper, completely out of position. Terrible. I assume that's David Seaman. Uh, free kick. And as you can see, a good free kick strategy here. Just huddle up together and uh, hope for the best. So we got uh, 23 minutes. I don't think I'll be playing another match, to be honest. Because what you find, and you'll you'll notice this. Uh, oh, they're trashing us now. But anyway, 
it's because I'm talking, getting distracted. That's what I'll blame it on, not my own inability. Why, why was semen by the near post? Not a question you find yourself asking much these days. Because he's retired. Uh, yeah, what well, I was previously gabbling, uh, gabbing on about, gabbling, gabbing, whatever. Can't even get a draw. That's disappointing. Was that uh, this sort of game is perfectly average, you know? It's not exceptional, it's not bad. You know, it's not great, but uh, here comes Peter Beardsley and he's lost the ball. So it was more Newcastle Beardsley than Liverpool Beardsley, huh? Yeah, if you'd never played kickoff and you'd never played Sensible World of Soccer back in the 90s and you got this game, it'd be okay. You know, there's a tournament mode, the the gameplay itself is alright, you know, but the games that it was trying to ape were so much better. And therein lies the problem. Because while I'm playing this, all it makes me want to do is play Sensible World of Soccer or Kick Off 96. Yes, I know, it's not the good one. Thank you, tackle from behind. Look at this AI though. That's that's one of the downsides. The AI isn't great and while the gameplay is serviceable, it's very rudimentary. It's uh, it's just like uh, the, the other soccer game I played, as you Americans would call it. Football it's called, guys. The uh, biggest sport in the world. Yeah, I've lost this. I've, I've given up already. <laughs> but I've uh, 1 minute and 30 something to go. Here comes the last England attack. Come on. Now, nope, out of time. Peter Beardsley couldn't do it for us. So, that is the England Championship football game that somehow got licensed and um, it was alright it was not great but yeah it, remi it reminds me of the other football game I played where you see echoes of the games that would come to define that era the problem is I think by this point some of those games were already out and this is just a lesser attempt at that same arcade style so, if you're really a massive, massive football aficionado who loves those old arcade classics, then you might get a good five minutes, ten minutes out of this tops, like I did, and then you'll go back to playing Kickoff or Sensible World of Soccer or something because there's literally no point in playing this game anymore. But yeah, that that was the game, and if you enjoy me rambling almost incoherently about DOS games that I don't like, then I've plenty of other videos of me doing just that, and some of them I actually like. You can usually tell by the video length. Uh, so yeah, if you like them, click subscribe. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs>